What is the single most important problem facing the city of Columbus right now, and what would you do to solve it? I think the most important issue that we're facing in Columbus is this tremendous growth that we're going to see in our city. Um, over the next 35 years, our region's going to add 500,000 people, and that presents incredible opportunities for economic development, for job creation, um, for, for building out really a future um, that will outlive all of us. But at the same time, it presents challenges, and I'm going to be focused on how we're making sure that within that growth, we are ensuring everyone has access to the prosperity that our region enjoys. The zip code that a child is born into should never be the determining factor for what kind of dreams she can have for her future. Do you support the use of police body cameras and how should they be funded if so? Yes, I do support the use of police body cameras. I think they're an important tool in establishing and maintaining trust between the community and our safety forces. Um, I am supportive of Andrew Ginther's uh, uh, plan that he has in place. I think we need to look for a mix of state and federal funding to help us um, in in meeting that cost of about five million dollars projected to get that program up and running. Mayor Coleman has put together um, a study group to make sure that we are doing this in a way that's deliberative, that works for our safety forces, and that works for our community. Um, that, that study group should come out with recommendations in uh, a timely fashion in order for us to outfit our forces by the end of 2016, and that's what I'm supportive of. If elected, that's what I'll work towards. How do you plan to ensure integrity in the office of Columbus City Council? I think that first and foremost, responsiveness from our government is critical. My office will respond to every constituent need, um, no matter what it is. If it's a concern about how government's operating, I'm on the phone making sure I'm allaying that concern. If it's a concern about how um, a sidewalk's being replaced in their neighborhood, I'm also on the phone um, ensuring, allaying that concern. At the same time, I do think we need some reforms around um, disclosure and campaign finance. To me, the most important principle of, camp of good, solid campaign finance rules um, is full and transparent disclosure. I think in the age of super PACs, it's clear the corrosive effect that shadowy money has had on Washington. We need to make sure that doesn't happen in Columbus. Um, I'm for tougher lobbyist registration, and as I said, full and transparent finance disclosure. What would you do to encourage um, growth and development, and then what specific area of Columbus would you focus your attention? Our neighborhoods in Columbus are what make our city great. So I think we have to start with the neighborhoods and making sure that we are listening to the residents first. That's the first principle of development or redevelopment. Um, the second principle of, of development and redevelopment is uh, making sure that whatever we're doing in any given neighborhood lifts up residents and doesn't gentrify. My background is in economic development, um, working on job creation and resident attraction. So I really hope to use that experience on council to look at neighborhoods like Linden, um, which is really struggling and really has some almost third world indicators of poverty. Their infant mortality rate um, is, just shouldn't be in, in a first world country. So we need to look at where we're struggling the most and make sure we're taking a comprehensive approach um, to alleviating poverty, to fighting for better middle class jobs. My name is Elizabeth Brown. I'm running for Columbus City Council because I believe this city has a tremendous future ahead of us. We are a vibrant and growing city. My background is in nonprofit service and economic development. I want to bring those skills and that experience to Columbus City Council because I know what it means to fight for good paying jobs that build strong middle class families. And I know what it means to help to alleviate poverty in our city. The growth in front of us is incredibly exciting, but we also have some real challenges we have to confront along with that growth. I want to fight to make sure that the zip code a child is born into is never the determining factor for what kind of future she can dream of. That means creating broad-based economic prosperity that works for every neighborhood, every small business, and every resident in our great city.